Um, so this is a little um, heat warmer. Um, inside here there is um, sodium acetate, which is salt, and then a little clicky thing. And if you click it, it can be quite stiff. Yeah, when it starts to click, you should be able to see that there is a um, obvious change in appearance and it starts to feel really warm, really um, quite quickly. And we can see it's actually got quite a nice little pattern um, radiating out from the centre of the um, where the clicky thing was. Um, this this was really quite warm. These are great if you have to like go camping or if you have to walk through the snow quite a lot, which I used to have to do um, when I was commuting. Um, so uh, we just made some in the lab, and this is what you need. You need a bag, which you can see at the top. This is the finger of um, a plastic glove. Um, you can get these clicking on the type that you used to uh, dye hair with. Um, this is just a tie. Some calcium chloride, um, a little spatula, and then about 10 mils of water. So I just need to put about five spatulas of the calcium chloride. One. There's all my um, calcium chloride in my bag. Um, just shake that all out of the bottom. Then in my um, finger, I need to put my 10 mils of water. And then this needs to be sealed up um, with the bag tie. Doesn't need to be too tight, just so it doesn't fall out immediately. Then I need to pop that in there, seal up the bag. Um, and if you can see that, I have my little um, balloon of water and my um, calcium carbonate. And then I just need to pop. This is one of the reasons why you shouldn't seal it up too tightly. Pop the, um, the the glove finger inside the bag. And then, hopefully, there we go. Oh, <laughs> that, um, once it pops, the reaction takes place. And that is actually really quite hot. That's too hot for me to touch. Um, and that is the... Uh, chemical warmer in the lab. This is an example of an exothermic reaction and that is really, really quite hot.